Good afternoon, Gear Up students. Uh, my name is Jennifer Scott and I work for Kokomo High School as an English teacher and I'm also the building coordinator for Indiana Gear Up at Kokomo High School. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an infographic using canva.com. So what we're going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you and then we are going to open up just a blank web page and you go to canva, C-A-N-V-A, Com. You do not need to register for an account. I do have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, I log in through Google. You can log in through Google or Facebook. If you want it to keep your projects, then um, you should probably go ahead and create an account. So here's my account, and here's what Canva looks like when you open it up. Over here in the top left hand corner, you will see it says create a design. Well, that's where we're going to choose an infographic, but let's explore what else it offers. So you could do posters, Instagram posts, videos, Facebook posts, cards, flyers, brochures, resumes, um, blog banners, book covers, menus, uh, newsletter, calendars, postcards, tickets, coupons, reports, um, lots of things that you um, can do on canva.com that makes it just a little bit more creative and a little bit more professional looking. So we're going to learn how to do an infographic. Now the benefit of an infographic, as you can see on these templates here, is that um, it gives a creative design to something that you would be turning in maybe for a project that a teacher requests. Um, it is informative, obviously, the info part, and it includes graphics, so then it's a little bit more creative. So it doesn't matter which template you want to choose, scroll through if you um, like the business or the timeline or the charity, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to do an infographic on myself. And so just to kind of show you how it works. Um, so I'm just gonna start with the life cycle of the butterflies. Fly. So the educational infographic. You can click here and it'll just, you can scroll through and kind of see how, like this one has one, two, three, four, five, six different levels. I'm gonna go back to the life cycle of the butterfly because it has four stages already set up for me. Now I'm not talking to you today about the life cycle of the butterfly, I'm talking to you about myself. So while you, um, if you want to change it, um, I'll show you start how to start changing and using all these tools on the left-hand side. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So, um, I clicked the wrong button. So that, that double arrow there uh, takes you to uh, the big version. So you hit escape and choose where it says 24%. Let's, I'm gonna change mine to 75%. So it's big enough for me to see and manipulate the text. So instead of life cycle of a butterfly, I am going to get rid of that and I am going to type Meet Jennifer Scott. Now I want that centered. So I'm going to click alignment and I changed it to centered um, right there. Maybe I don't like the color. Um, and you can see right here it pops up when I click out in the margin, it changes the or it has the color. Um, you can change the background. So if you go to background down here on the left, um, you can change it to many different things. My text is white. So I wouldn't want a light background, but I could scroll down and I could choose a blue. Well, it stayed, it stayed green, but it changed my other part to, to uh, blue. Um, so you can change and manipulate the colors schemes as well. So I'm gonna leave it like blue and green. Meet Jennifer Scott is my title. So stage one, butterfly eggs. Um, I'm going to say occupation. And then I'm going to tell you that um, I'm going to be brief so that I don't take up too much of your time.
I am a teacher at Kokomo High School. Obviously your teacher would want you to give more information, but for our version of time and so that I don't, um, since so that we could play with different things, that's all I'm gonna say. But I don't like the occupation color. So I'm going to go over here on the left-hand side and choose text. Um, and then you can change, you can see how you can change the different fonts of um, your text. So maybe I like this text. Nope, that added that in there. So we're gonna get rid of that. And it's not letting me get rid of it. Oh, I added two. Just gonna move that off to the left. Okay, so that was adding a text box. That's not what we want to do. We want to change the color. And so we are going to go to highlight it. That made it all uppercase, kind of like that. There we go, text color. You guys probably knew that and we're thinking um, it's right there. So my background is blue here. I'm gonna change it to white. I'm gonna do the same thing to all of my titles. So my second title is going to be family. All right, so I have added, I have two brothers, one sister, one daughter, and an adopted daughter. I didn't really adopt a daughter. Um, I um, allowed a former student to move in with me. She lives with me now. Um, and so she's my adopted daughter. Um, okay, so as we scroll down, we're gonna change the next header back to white. And I'm gonna title that Hobbies. I enjoy kayaking, reading, reading, gardening, and um, racing. My fiance is a race, is a race car driver. So the last one I'm going to change, same thing. Um, change the text color to white so that you can see it. And I'm gonna make it education. And there is my, oops, can't spell Purdue. There is my education. I don't want this website at the bottom because that's not my website. So I'm going to get rid of that. 
And so now I want to work with the with the pictures. Um, I don't like that picture there. I'm not sure why these little dots are there. And so occupation, I'm going to put teacher over here and see what it comes up with for photos. And I'm just gonna select one. You can scroll through, it will give you a wide variety of um, photos. At some point, you will notice that uh, the photos will, like when I put my cursor on that, it said free. At some point, you will notice that some of these photos cost money to use. Um, we would probably try to avoid those. Um, and so here is my photo for occupation. And then I'm going to do the same thing for family. I like the distant sunset. Got to get rid of my current picture. Put my family photo there. And you can import uh, photos of your own. Um, I just don't want to do that in the time that we have. Hobbies. I'm going to do kayaking. Um, I've never tipped a kayak, so I'm not going to use that one. Notice these pop in as really big. You can resize them to whatever size you would like. Try to keep them, I'm trying to keep them consistent with one another. And lastly, education. Use this book one. Now, um, so I've showed you the, the various templates. Um, we've added photos and you can import a picture of your own um, up here with file. Uh, the elements, you can add various, um, these are just basically, uh, what are those called? Not thumbnails, but uh, instead of professional looking photos, they're the like meme photos. You can change your text. You can add text boxes wherever you'd like, add headers, add subheaders. You can even add videos if you're going to submit this electronically and you can see they have video backgrounds um, that move. And so let's say um, I want to change up here, this background here to be this video. it plays and shows that. Maybe I didn't like that. And so I'm gonna click and drag it off the screen. Maybe I want this little dazzling thing. If you're gonna turn it in electronically, that, that would be a neat way to incorporate some various technology. We also looked at the backgrounds and I showed you how to change the backgrounds. This is where you can upload images and videos of your own. Um, you could see there's my, I made an infographic once for um, my fiance for his race car driver to give out to kids. Um, and then you can save it. Now, right now, let's say you wanted to, you're not going to submit it electronically. You just need to submit a photo or you want to add it to a Google doc or you want to put it on a Word document. So you're going to click right here where the arrows are to go to full screen, and then you see the full screen, and you see that I've messed up because I have multiple things there. So I'm going to exit my full screen by hitting escape, and I'm going to get rid of those because as I clicked them, I didn't realize they were going down below because I am at 75%. So now I'm gonna click the arrows again, I've gotten rid of that problem. And so there's your final um, project. However, 
um, you need to be able to uh, save it so you can add it to your folders, go to file um, and save. Then when you go to your infographics, so it says meet Jennifer Scott there. Um, you go to home. And I want to see my infographics, all your designs. So there's all the things that I have done for uh, various things. Um, I have a gear up one. Yeah, here's a gear up one. And let's say I wanted to submit this and turn this into um, a photo. Well, you can use your snipping tool. So you go to your start button, you scroll down to the S's, snip and sketch. You want to do a new snip and then you can click and drag and make that your image so there's your image and you can save hitting new would make, make it um, go away and it would allow you to do a new cut but you can save it to your desktop you're up infographic and oh yeah open my bad I want to save it hit the save button and save and then if you minimize everything close it out. You can see my infographic has saved to my desktop right here. And there it is. And then you can uh, put that onto a Google slide. You could turn that in just as itself. You can email it to your teacher. And it's a neat way to do like if you've read a book for a class or if you've learned um, a step-by-step -step process of a science project or a science experiment. You could use it for a math class. Um, there's many, many different things that you could do um, to incorporate it into any class that you're using. And um, I hope that using infographics is something that you will uh, utilize in the future on canva.com as well as some of the other projects and neat designs that they have. Um, so it was nice working with you and hopefully that you'll, you'll have a benefit of that. So have a great day.